Well, good afternoon, YTPC. This is Dave coming to you from the paddock in Southern Maryland. It is Wednesday, January 31st. It's about 2 p.m. I actually got over here a little bit early. Um, let's see. Got the Maryland Marisham. And I've been working on this pipe for at least a couple hours. And that reamer that Uncle Willie gave me yesterday, I was able to work it and work it and work it. And then I took that sandpaper. I cut a regular sheet of sandpaper into about five strips. And then each of those strips into about five pieces or little, little cubes. I'm going to stop this video in a minute. I'm going to show you. I actually got the inside of my marathon to be white again. So, um, God, you know, you don't feel stupid, but then you, when you start reaming your pipe out, you think maybe the white marathon pipe should be white inside and not charcoal black or brown. These just things you don't realize. So anyway, um, the amount of material I took out of this pipe in the last two days, I mean, it would just about, it would just about fill a tin. Um, so I'm going to pay much more attention to it and either through cleaning, sanding, or reaming, I'm going to keep it white uh, once a week. I'm hoping that now, and when I'm smoking it, I can really tell the difference. It, I can tell the pipe is breathing again, the draw on it is, is much better than I remember for the last several months. So, God, I mean, just, I guess just things you don't realize, but it sure does make you feel like a moron as you're starting to ream out just level after level after level of that of that buildup but and then sanding it out really worked great so i'm gonna stop and show it to you real quick and i'll come back hey guys i just want to show you i spent a couple hours working on this pipe and you can see kind of how white it is and you can see the little bit of the what do you call it the buildup then um see it's white all the way around now so I can't tell you how much stuff I got out of this pipe. So it pretty much corresponds with where the coloring change stopped. So I think that may be what was going on. So I cut all of that. God, I can't think of the word. I will soon turn off the camera. But the char, the buildup, is, um, it was unbelievably thick. It took me a couple hours to ream it all out of there and then sand it white. So... Try it out and see if the coloring starts to continue up the pipe now. So what's in it today? It's the second blend came in from Uncle Willie's Heinz blend. This is a Sutliff blend. Looks like I went online and looked at it. It comes in, uh, it comes in these 14 ounce tubs and, um, on smoking pipes. It's about 55 bucks for a 14 ounce tub. It's pretty cool. It's different. It's cut. I guess it's called a cube cut. I'm still learning my cuts, you guys. But I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you really tell the difference from a ribbon cut or a cube cut. But that's what they call it, a rough cut or a cube cut. I mean, I can feel the difference when I'm, when I'm loading the pipe. But I like it. Um, it tastes somewhat different than Haunted Bookshelf, but not terribly. I mean, I realize it's burly, is burly to some extent. Thank you, Greg. But I like it. Maybe it's my mouth, my palate, but one of the reasons I like Burley is it's simple. I don't get, I don't get three or four layers. I don't look for it. Um, it's just a good tobacco taste for me. Yeah, I don't know what to say other than that. So one thing I want to share with you is I put together a tobacco log because Parsimony's Piper's year in review pressed me so much. I wanted to be able to do the same thing. So I'm keeping now a daily. It shows you by year, I'm by year, by day. I want to focus, of course. But it, you can see 
by day, what I smoke, and then how many bowls or how many sticks. And then I, I scribble on it. I don't keep it up every day. I scribble on it, and it gives me a total. But, you know, as I come to the end of the month here, I figure I'll smoke two or three of these today. And if that's true, that'll give me about 62 or 63 bowls for the month of January. And it'll give me nine cigars. Which I feel is a, about where I want to be. Two bowls a day kind of thing. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool. I'm going to do this by month so I can give a month summary at the end of each one. And then a, maybe a quarterly summary and then my year end. So hopefully I stick with it. And one month in, I've been able to finish it up for one month. So several of you commented on my investigative skills yesterday. I knew my pal it was not going to pull it off. And I'd watched Potter Piper. And when I was trying to decide what Burley it was, I know he said he thought it was Haunted Bookshop. So that's how that one got into my running. I had done maybe, I'd pulled maybe six samples myself. And then I watched his video and I said, man, I better pull that one too. Then his smell was so close, but I don't really trust my smell either. But when I started comparing what they looked like, it was too too perfect a match. So turned out that was right, but Otter Piper really gets he was my lead investigator on that one. So guys, one of the things that uh, I wanted to talk to you today about was you know, as we come up on the end of January, it's a really good time to, I don't know if it's, some people say review resolutions or, that's not really what I would call it. So, a lot of us, a lot of the videos over the course of November and December talked a lot about, man, let's get, get 23 out of here and let's get 24 in the door. Let's kick 23 to the curb and let's, Let's move on with 24, and one of my concerns at the end of the year was when I put up a video and said, you know, uh, January 1st is just another Monday. And so, you know, just by turning the page of a calendar, it doesn't really change anything in our lives. And I sit here one month now into Jan in one month into January. See, I'm, man, I don't feel stupid. You know, we said we're finishing up one month now into 2024. And the question is, was January 2024 any different than November 23 or December 23 for you? You know, um, any change we make in the year in January, February has a lot of trajectory. Little changes at the beginning of the year can have big impacts 10, 11 months down the road. Changes we make in December have very little impact on our life because they can only be in place for a few weeks so that's the question is are we making the changes now now that we're on a full month through the new year it's really not a new year anymore and have we made changes to make this year better than last year the other concept i wanted to just throw out was the concept of living life experience I didn't want my life to be a repeat year after year. I didn't want to have the same year for 25 years. I didn't want to have, I didn't want to turn 50 as a 25 year old in my head, meaning I'd 25 of the same years. I didn't have 50 years of life experience. I had the, my 25th year or my 30th year, 25 years in a row. I didn't make any changes. I didn't grow or do anything different. Really, for your own answers, for your own edification, you know, are you living each year the same way, you, year after year after year? Are you just repeating life rather than living it or experiencing it? Um, is that by choice? If that's by choice, that's fantastic. I mean, what a great way. If you're living by choice, I think that's pretty awesome. Um, but if we're living the same year, year over year, unrealized, that's the dangerous one. That's when you wake up one day and go, oh, my God, I've kind of wasted the last 10 years. So it's just a question. You certainly don't need to answer it. We don't need any VRs. You don't need to 
puke yourself and your life into the comment section. That's not what I'm really looking for. Just throwing it out there in case somebody needs to be woken up or or, the, or realize, hey, I'm kind of doing the same thing year after year. So the third year in my life looks like this, and maybe I do want to make some changes. This is a great time of year to make changes. So anyway, I just throw that out there. Guys, that's really it for me today. I'm enjoying a slower, uh, slower Wednesday. The transition of our farmhand Raul begins today. He flies home tonight. Flies home back to Mexico, maybe for good. And our new guy who's been with us about two weeks now really has to take over starting tomorrow. So, yeah, you know, I'm really here for moral support for the wife unless she. As she calls in an airstrike, I'm staying away from the I'm staying away from the farm. I'll certainly go if she taught, wants me to, but my my support seems to be more in the morning at coffee and in the evening at dinner. You can kind of go through what it looks like. She asks me questions, I give her my thoughts on the situation, but I do I will not engage unless she asks me to because I can really undo weeks worth of work if I just step on the property. As soon as I step on the property, everybody wants to talk to me and they kind of it undoes all that training of hey you take your direction from Amory. Hey clients, Amory's in charge of whatever you need her to be in charge of. So I hate to undo that to her unless she she's only brought me on the property in this last year a few times. So if I'm on the property, I'm there to do videos for you guys or just to kind of see things, but I tend to stay away from it. So, But that big transition, one of the biggest in five years for the farms begins tonight. I think she's got a handle on it, but we'll see. Guys, that's it. I'm going to shut up, put these videos together, and uh, get this uploaded. Um, Interesting, we talked about length of time to upload videos, and several of you responded saying you've had the same problem. It's interesting because the one I did last night had no offensive meter in it, right? It was really just responding to Uncle Willie. And that thing uploaded in like 10 minutes. So, you know, I think Hoosier Marshall said is normally these videos are 10 or 11 minutes, and that's what mine end up being. So I'm starting to wonder, it must be, <clears throat> once they pick up, once the bots pick up a word or two, they maybe throw it into a different review category and review every word and every second of your video. Um, and it switches from 10 or 20 minutes to seven or eight hours. So that's what I suspect happened. Guys, that's it. It's Wednesday afternoon. Hope you have a good few days already. Um, if you want to make changes, I hope you're making them. If you want your life to change, I hope you're making those changes. And um, gosh, I hope things are great. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye, everybody.